Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to install the best game and server hosting management panel. Of course, it's the Pedro Ducted panel without using a script because you can learn a lot of things about Linux when you install it by yourself. To do that, of course, you need to have a VPS. If you don't have a VPS, watch a video in the info card now to get one from AWS for free. I'm also just using an AWS VPS and you also have to be connected to your VPS. I'm just gonna go ahead and connect to it via SSH. With MobileXterm, I have a link to the app in the description. Okay, perfect. Let's start and first let's go sudo space dash s to get root permissions. Now go to the link in the video description and open the Petro Ductile website there, go to documentation and under panel click getting started. When you scroll down a little bit you can see the supported operating systems. I think you have one of these installed. So let's go down a little bit more to the dependency installation and yeah let's just begin by installing these dependencies. Copy and paste the command. Yeah, perfect. And yeah, this dependency installation is just copy and pasting. So let's go ahead, next line, copy, paste. While it's installing, let's just copy the next line and wait a little bit. Now let's install Redis server. This is just copy and pasting. This is really not difficult. So just do that. Let's do a quick apt update and if you use Ubuntu 18.04 just do this command to add the repository universe but I'm on Ubuntu 20.04 so I don't have to do that but if you are just do that and yeah the last command here is a pretty long command where we install like all the needed dependencies most of them um, yeah so just copy this very long command and paste it also into your console. Okay, as expected, that worked. So now let's install the last dependency. This is Composer, so just copy this command, paste it into your service console again. And yeah, that was pretty fast. So now let's go to downloading the files. And first we have to make a new directory with this command. Once you've made the directory, head into the directory with the change directory command. And here we are actually gonna download the files for the panel. So just copy this yeah, pretty long command, paste it into the console again. Now, co now copy and paste this command to unzip the panel and copy and paste the last command for the panel installation. Yeah. Okay, now it's getting a little bit more difficult because we need to set up a MySQL database. So go to the database configuration and click here, open setting up MySQL, open this in a new tab, go to the tab. First, we have to log in to MySQL. Um, the password is nothing, so just press enter and we're here. Now we need to create a user for that. Copy this command and don't paste it into your service console yet. Paste it into, yeah, like I'm doing a new tab and here change some, pass some password with like anything you want. I'm gonna go ahead and press any keys on my keyboard. Once you've changed the password, copy the command with the changed password and paste it into your console. Now let's create a database for the panel. Copy this command and paste it into the console again. Okay, now we have to assign permissions to the Pedro Ductile user on the panel database. So yeah, copy this command, paste it into the console and we're ready to create the first user. This is the account you will have to log in with, so save the password. And here also copy this command, paste it into yeah a new tab, change the password. I'm just gonna yeah press any keys. And here let's change the username. You don't have to, but of course you can. I'm just changing it, yeah. Copy and paste this command again. Now let's assign permissions to the user we just created. But as you can see here, this has to be the same username as we created here. So if you use Petro Ductile user here, you can just copy and paste this command into the console. But if you used another username, I used Paul SCR, then just copy the command, paste it yeah, into a new tab, take your username for, from here and paste it into here. So you just have to use the username you have used in this command down there when you assign the permissions. Again, paste it into the console. Now you can control C, exit out of the database. And as you can see here, of course, we want to allow external database access. So copy this command here, find the configuration file. And yeah, it's in etsy mysql my.conf. So let's change the directory to here. So as you can see here, I made a little error because I forgot that we were in this directory. So first let's go completely back with this command and now we can go into the directory and nano into the my.conf file. Once you're here, go down a bit, paste the command, control x, y, enter, perfect. 
So the database is set up, we can close this tab and move on. So let's go back to the var www.pgroductile directory. And once you're here, you can rename the .env.example file to .env. So let's do that. Let's install optimize loader. We can run it as super user. And we also have to run this command. If you already have ptroductile installed on the same server, then don't run this command. But yeah, let's run this command. Okay, now let's move on to the environment configuration. Yeah, let's just copy and paste the first command and do the environment setup. Now we have to enter the application URL. I just entered https panel2.tutorial-kernel.ml. You can also run it on the IP address of your server and of course with, an, with a domain but without SSL, but I wouldn't suggest you doing that. So just create a new A record for your domain. I've done that in Cloudflare. Name it whatever you want. Uh, point it to the IP address of your server. If you use Cloudflare, set it to DNS only and save it. If you don't have a domain, watch the video in the info card now to get a free domain from Freenum. Okay, so once you've entered your domain, let's enter. Next, we have to enter the application time zone so that the panel displays the correct time. So go to the PHP manual and here just yeah, search your time zone. For me, it is this one. I'm just going to go ahead and paste it. Now, just press enter two times. Okay, we have to press enter three times. Let's do that. Um, yes, we want to enable the UI-based settings editor. I would suggest you doing that. So press enter again and ready. Now let's configure the database. So just copy this command and paste it into the console. The host is localhost. Yeah, just press enter. The port is this one. The database name is panel. The username is ptroductile. And now enter your password from this command here. So where you created the, the user ptroductile um, and you have changed the password, just copy the password and enter it. And no, we don't want to use PHP's internal mail sending. Um, so let's not enter this command and let's go on by setting up the database. As you can see here, this command can take some time. So copy it and wait a minute or something. Perfect. As you can see here, that worked. And now let's copy this command to make a user. This user is an administrator. Enter your email, the username you want, first name, last name, of course, and a password. Okay, perfect. Let's set up permissions. If your operating system is sent to us, then you have to copy this command. And for me, it is the first command for most of you guys. It's also the first command. So just, yeah, copy and paste this into the console. Now we need to do the cron tab configuration. To do that, open cron tab with this command, copy it, paste it into the server. If you do that the first time on the server, just choose one. That's, in my opinion, the best editor. Here, I'm just going to scroll down to the end and paste this line of code. Control X, Y, enter. Perfect. Now let's go completely back and let's change the directory to Etsy systemd system. Here we have to enter into the ptroq.service file. So just do that with nano and enter. Copy this file and paste it into, into the ptroq.service file. Again, control X, Y, enter. Now let's enable reader server, enter. And of course, ptroq.service. Okay, so we have done that. Perfect. And let's configure the web server now. So just click on next step web server configuration. And here, of course, we want to use Nginx with SSL. I would highly recommend doing that too. Okay, so first, let's remove the default Nginx configuration. Copy and paste this command. Yeah, done. Now let's go to Etsy Nginx sites available. So just change directory, enter this directory, and yeah, press enter. We need to create a new file called ptroductile.conf. So let's just nano ptroductile.conf, enter. And we have created the new file. Now we need to copy this and we have created the new file now we need to copy this yeah so just copy all of this paste it into the file scroll up and here we have to change some things here in the fifth file change the domain to your domain here's also this domain placeholder remove this and enter your domain here again down there at the ssl configuration remove the domain placeholder again and enter your domain by the way you have to two times once you've removed the placeholder four times and added your domain four times instead of the placeholder you can control x y enter and sorry guys i forgot something of course before we can restart nginx we need to create a ssl certificate first so open this page in a new tab do a quick apt update now let's install certbot of course, we want to use Nginx, so let's copy this command 
to add the third part nginx package paste it into your server okay perfect we have installed all that and now you need to copy this command third part third only dash dash nginx dash d this is the where the domain comes example.com and instead of in example.com um, add your domain so for me it is again panel panel 2.tutorial dash corner dot ml copy it and paste it into your console enter your email and agree to the terms of service of let's encrypt um, no i don't want to share my email address and now we are getting a new certificate and perfect congratulations your certificate and change have been saved yeah that's good so let's do a quick um third word renew so we enable auto renewal okay so now we can go back to the web server configuration we already have done that and now we need to enable the configuration so just sim link yeah these two files enter this command this is very simple okay so once you've done that you can restart nginx with this command and now we should be able to reach our website okay perfect for me it is working if it's not working for you then comment down below what your errors are um, or join the Petro Ductile Discord server. You can get support there. You can also join my Discord server to get support there from me. And yeah, once you have successfully installed it, congratulations, you can now log in with your username and your password you have created. So just, yeah, log in, perfect. So we only have to install the Wings. This is easier than the panel installation. So let's go to the Wings installation. You can see the operating systems which are supported. But yeah, I think you have one of these. And first we have to install Docker. Do that with this command here. If you're getting any errors here, you can do a manual installation. Just follow the links and the guides provided here. Now we have Docker installed. It took me like 30 seconds. And we now need to enable Docker on system boot. So copy this command and paste it into the console. Now let's change directory into etsy slash default. So just do cd slash etsy slash default. And now we have to nano into the grub file. By the way, as you can see here, this is optional, but I highly recommend doing that. They also recommend doing it, so just do it. So yeah, nano into the file. And here we have to search grub cmd line the linux default. Once you found that, change this quiet splash. Yeah, remove it and change it to sweat account equals one. Once you've done that, you can control X, Y, enter again. And yeah, perfect. So now we can begin actually installing the wings to do this, make a new directory at C slash peterodactyl. Now let's download the files for the wings and also copy and paste this command here. Before we can add the node, we have to create a new SSL certificate. You already have these packages installed. So just scroll down, copy this command here. And yeah, I almost forgot it. Of course, we have to create a new A record pointed to the same IP address. If you use Cloudflare, again, set the proxy status to DNS only and save it. Now copy this command, of course, change your domain here again, paste it into your service console and create the SSL certificate like we did last time. Pretty easy. Our certificate has been saved and was successful. So go to your panel again, go to locations and create a new location. Name it, yeah, whatever you want. Just press any random keys and also create a new node here, create new, name it also whatever you want. Um, here enter the fully qualified domain name you want to use for your node, enter any memory disk space yeah. And we will use SSL connection because we use SSL on our panel too. So we have to use SSL for the node too, but this is pretty easy. We just need to create a new SSL certificate for that. And yeah, once you have entered the information, the details cr click create node and yeah once you have added your node you can just go to the configuration and create a new auto deploy token copy this command and paste it into your service console before we can start the wings we need to go to etsy systemd slash system and create a new file called wings.service so change the directory to etsy systemd slash systems and nano into the wings.service file here, just copy and paste this. And once you've done that, you can control X, Y, enter. Now we just need to systemctl enable the wings. And yeah, as you can see here, our wings are green and they're working perfect. To create allocations, just enter your IP address here. Enter any port range. I'm gonna go for 2200 to 2500. Enter and submit it. And if you're looking for the best Petro Ductile themes to make your panel look even greater, watch this video next.